Welcome to THE 1020, Introduction to Theater, with Bobby Bell. Tartuffe. In Paris, France, at the corner of Rue de Richelieu and Rue Molière, is a statue of the beloved playwright at the fountain of Molière. To his left stands a figure of serious comedy, and to his right stands a figure of light comedy. It is perhaps a fitting irony that this fountain replaces an earlier fountain dedicated to the highly political Cardinal Richelieu that was demolished in 1838 because it stood in the way of traffic and progress of the emerging modern city of Paris. Just as the play Tartuffe has been triumphant over its religious enemies who sought to have both the play and its playwright sight. Molière was not, as his critics tried to insist, attacking religion in the play, but rather, as the subtitle L'Imposture suggests, his target was hypocrisy. The play was first staged on the 12th of May, 1664, as part of the festivities known as the Pleasures of the Enchanted Island, held at the Palace of Versailles. In spite of King Louis XIV's love of Molière's work, he could not protect the playwright from a combination of condemnation from the Archbishop of Paris, a secret society of Catholics seeking to reform the church, and a group of French aristocrats, all of whom thought that the playwright was portraying one of them personally in the character of Tartuffe. The play was banned, and anyone who read, saw, or performed in the play would be excommunicated. Had Molière not been protected by the king, his career may have ended there. After many revisions, Molière's clever critical defense of the play, and several years of waning clerical influence, the play was finally reproduced in the form that we know it today in 1669.